Hello and welcome back to Story Retold, the channel that celebrates great games with great stories. I'm Kalina and we are back to playing The Vampire Diaries in our second video here. And this is that 1996 game made by Her Interactive, which was a division of American Laser Games back in the 90s. And this was made in 1996. I've got a copy here of this box and I also have a few copies of... Uh, I believe this was the insert. I'm not entirely sure. It's this little glassy little insert that goes inside the game. And it's, uh, I guess that's Elena right here in the top corner. But we've got this dreamy guy by the car here and this other guy right here just looking up at her. It's so romantic. I guess that's a very much a 90s thing. But it's got a picture of Phil's church, the actual church at the graveyard, and uh, I believe the school? Same, same, um, description as on the box. It says, a romantic thriller based on the best-selling novels, because they're based on the books. As Elena, you must find and stop the evil force preying on your town, even as you fall in love with a vampire. Coming November 1996, a game for Windows 95 CD-ROM. Huzzah. Where'd my, oh, it's right here. And then I have this, um, I guess it's like a poster, handout, press release kind of paper of the Vampire Diaries, which I've got in a protective sleeve. Um, I'm borrowing all of this. And then on the back side of this, actually, it's got, it mentions, mentions the Vampire Diaries right here. But it also mentions the other Nancy Drew game, <laughs> not Nancy Drew game, the other game that Her Interactive made, which is McKenzie and Company. And I think we're going to be playing that one next. It's got even the expansion of the, the extra guys right there. What does this say? Mackenzie & Co. A fully interactive, live-action social adventure. Meet cool friends at Madison High, go shopping, and try on over 400 items of clothing. Experiment with, way, with makeup, play fun mini games, and listen to cool music. And then more friends with the picture of the two guys. I think it's an expansion pack. Add-on discs for Mackenzie & Co. The excitement continues as you experience new adventures and meet two more great guys from Medicine High. Who will escort you to the prom? Okay, so these girls are... Girls, wow, I can't talk today. These games are directed entirely towards teen girls. Because back then in the 90s, the early, mid... Actually, mid to late 90s, Games out there were not really ever geared towards girls. There weren't any girl protagonists in the games. So this was like ahead of its time. And when I say ahead of its time, it really was because the Vampire Diaries came out first before Twilight. And you know how big Twilight got. These books were written in 1991. I read the first book just to get um, prepared. Where are my discs? I need to get the right disc in. It is a three disc set I've got here. And you have to do the disc switching. I put in the wrong disc to get started. So it's like you're supposed to put in disc like three in order to, to turn it on. And then wherever it was that you saved off last, you'll have to switch to, switch to uh, the other disc. Let's switch to gameplay, shall we? This game is really hard to find nowadays because, of course, Her Interactive doesn't have this, this anymore. Nor do we have the they they have the rights to sell the Vampire Diaries anymore because that belongs to someone else. As you know, there was a TV show made off of it. So when you're trying to find this game. Uh, you're looking for it used, and your best bet is on eBay, or keep checking garage sales. And I think eBay, I saw it one time for sale for like $500. Okay, uh, so I forget in the last video what we were talking to Stefan here about. No, we weren't here. I loaded up the wrong save file. Nuts. I'm sorry. That was my backup file. 
library. Okay, we were at the library. Okay, so when the last time we were here, that's right, we had trouble not, uh, getting out of a scene reading a book, and there were no buttons, no cursor light ups to back out. And so I replayed up to that point. And I avoided that book and I saved my game, but in the process of getting back here, I discovered that there are more books in the library that we have not seen. You could look at multiple shelves. Um, oh, nice. Okay, Folk Tales of Fells Church. <clears throat> okay, say that to this day, when the moon is right, you can still hear the distant sound of squealing pigs along that bend of the river. Okay. Okay. War-torn loves. One of the most tragic stories of the Civil War era is the story of Adelaide Chambers, the daughter of a Union general, and Harold Gray. Harold. A Confederate soldier. Ooh. The two had met before the war began and fallen deeply in love. Only weeks before the war between the states began, they made plans to marry. But when war was declared, Harold felt duty bound to serve and left. The tearful Adelaide behind with a gold coin for their wedding and a promise to return. Clutching the gold coin to her heart, Adelaide Adelaide waited for news and prayed for his return. Weeks, months, and even years passed, but her resolve never faltered. She asked only for a sign of her beloved. When she passed away, her final... She died? When she passed away, her final words are said to have been, Please bring me a sign. She was buried with the only token that remained of Harold Gray, the gold coin that was to give them their wedding and an eternity of happiness together. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, let's get out of this book. Knock on the door. Looking at some of these, uh... Okay, so there's a shelf here. And a shelf here and here. Okay, the candle making yeah, we've looked at that book. We know or this shelf I should say should say. Okay, so we looked at the bottom one. We look at the top. Civil War books, yep. Napoleon Bonaparte. Rooms. Ooh. Okay, the rune alphabet. Should I be writing this down? Um, I'm going to write this down with my modern day notebook. <laughs> iPhone. Still gonna take a screenshot of this, of taking a picture. In case, in case I need to return to this, I feel like I'm gonna need to. Yeah, and some of those look familiar because these were actually used in a Nancy Drew game, Curse of Blackmore Manor, when he had to spell out something in runes or translate something that was in runes. Okay, that must be it. Great! Okay. Let's uh, rotate a bit. looked at the things that we're supposed to look at. 
Um, okay, so we looked at that shelf. That was the very first one. Let's try this one. Oh, we did look at this shelf, didn't we? Herbs, yeah, we looked at that. Maybe it was the, uh, the top shelf that we didn't. Or maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe that is the only shelf. Oh, no, here we go. Okay. The unofficial book of coffee cups. I love it. Animal in dreams. What they really mean. Oh, it's like me. Okay, they, those are the eyes, the owl eyes. I thought they looked cartoony, but that's just the way the owls, great horned owl eyes looked. Maybe that's what attacked. Margaret, my sister? Secret Life of Owls. Can I look at that too? I guess it's, that is what we looked at. The Snapdragon and the Owl? Same thing. Okay, it's really just gonna push that book on us. Okay. Okay, I think we need to leave the library now. And we need to go talk to Bonnie. She mentioned runes. And she also works for Mr. Richards. Excuse me. Mr. Richards has the, uh, that dagger that we are trying to learn about. Where is he? Gary Richards' house. Quite the house. That is lovely. Okay, switching CD one. Disc one. Disc wars. Disc wars. Sorry, that's the wrong reference to this game. That's a Tron legacy reference. Also regular Tron too. There. Okay. Where's my mouse? Right here. Okay, if you were really wealthy and had just free money to decorate your place, would you decorate with big statues like this, or this, or these, you know, gargoyles and angels and things? It's kind of ominous looking. Not very welcoming. Oh, we just let ourselves in? A place like this uh, could use a, a, a door greeter. The thinker. Where's Bonnie? What? That's fascinating. What is this? I want to see this. Um, kind of disturbing looking. It's like a mermaid fairy. Why does it look dark outside? Or is that just his wall? Okay, I'm not quite sure where I should be going, but we can certainly try to head upstairs and find Bonnie. Okay, now we're looking downwards. This looks like a fun library place. I don't know what that is. Let me look at their books. His books. Oh, 
Is that a real cat? <sighs> What's behind? What's underneath that? That's creepy. If I watched in the room, I'd be freaked out over that. What's this stuff? It looks like a statue of, like, Mary and Jesus, or, I don't know, or... Like Buddha or something? I can't tell. Can't interact with any of those objects either, so... I think that's where I came from. Nothing there to interact with, okay. Bonnie! Hey, girl! I'm so glad you're here, Elena. I can't wait to show you what all I've been working Yay! on this summer. It's so awesome. What do you want to see? Well, first? first of all, who's your buddy? Um, that's dead next to you. Have you ever heard of druids, Bonnie? I heard that they believed in magic, so I thought you might know something about them. Know about them? My grandmother told me I'm descended Just from like them. the book. The Jews were like priests or something, a long time ago, and they built Stonehenge. You know that huge circle of rocks out in England? And they built it using magic. Cool ancestors, huh? <laughs> How does your grandmother know you're descended from Druids? You wouldn't believe some of the things my grandmother hmm. could do. Magic oh? things, like find out who you're going to marry, or take the evil eye off of cursed sheep. She lived in Edinburgh, you know Scotland? And they remember the Jews there. If you don't believe me, you could read her diary. There's all sorts of neat spells and stuff in there. My father donated it to the library because of its historical value. Oh, we did stuff. read it. Maybe now you won't tease me so much about my psychic stuff. Anything else you want to know about Elena? I read your grandmother's diary, Bonnie. She says you need silver and lapis to make a ring of power. Do you have any idea where I could find some? See, I don't know about that. I don't wear silver. But you could try asking Meredith when she gets back. I think she wears silver. And I don't think I've ever seen lapis in my life. Sorry. Do you need anything else? We haven't met Meredith yet, have we? I know you know something about runes, Bonnie. What can you tell me about them? You want to know about runes? Well, they were used to tell the future. Or as part of a spell to protect things. I know you think I'm nuts and all about this fortune-telling stuff. But the runes really work. My grandmother gave me hers the last time I saw her. I think she knew she was going to die soon. I wish I could prove to you that they work, but one of them's missing. And you can't read without all of them. If Graham knew mm. I lost one... She'd be so mad at me. Okay, so we gotta find her rune for her. Which one is gone? How did you lose it? Kinda looks like a weird, kinda bent letter C. It's supposed to be a dice cup lying on its side. To symbolize chance, I guess. I don't know how I lost it. I mean, I take really good care of them, because they're my grandmother's and they're really old. The last time I remember seeing them was when I did a reading for Meredith and Caroline just after you left for Europe this summer. I know that they were all there then. Is there anything else you want to know about Elena? Well, it could be er, or it could be purse. Could be the letter U, or it could be the letter P. It doesn't look like a C. Did she say upside down? Or sideways? If it's, excuse me, if it's upside down, then it's the U, which actually looks like that. See you later, Bonnie. See you later. Give me a call if you want to go out, okay? Okay. Okay, according to my notes... Oh, we gotta go in here. Let's go in here. Oh, we can just look at... The, those are weird statues. Can we go through the door? No, it's just a close-up look. Nuts. I wanted to go inside. 
Okay. So we need to ask around for that rune. Let's leave. Uh, we could talk to Caroline. Where would she be? Back at the gallery, maybe? She does work for Mikhail. Now it's the school, lots of women's house, has a hospital, lots of boarding house. There's the art gallery. Okay. Let's try that. That's what it looks like on the outside? Interesting. CD3! Okay. I should probably save my game if we're making progress like this. Let me save it real quick. I think I'm just I'm just being cautious here. I'm gonna save it at Vampire. Remember, remember that, Kalina. Okay. Oh, so this is what their, where the entrance is. Okay, I know where I'm at. Okay, that's where Caroline was standing last time, last night. That is the exit, okay. I guess we'll go through the hall here. Um, okay, that's where that's that door that came from right there. Ah, she's at the desk. Hello, Caroline. Why, Elena? How nice of you to drop by. I do hope your little sister's feeling better. Well. Feel free to look around, though I doubt you have the money or the taste to buy anything here. What's your deal? I'm not sure why you're so mad at me, Caroline. Whatever it is, couldn't we just forget it and start over? I mean, we've been friends since kindergarten. I don't think I can forget it. I'm tired of standing in your shadow, Elena. I've spent this summer discovering that my popularity doesn't depend on your permission. Now, since it is my job, is there something I can do for you? And just remember, friendship isn't for sale. Ooh. Have you heard anything about that new dagger Gary Richards has added to his collection? Has Mikhail mentioned it? What Mikhail does and doesn't tell me is none of your business, Elena. But yes, I have heard of the Brass Off Dagger. It's supposed to bring its owner ultimate power or something, but I wouldn't count on it. The Baron or whoever had to sell it just to keep a roof over his head. And you can forget about the part about immortality too, because I heard the old geezer who had the dagger before the Baron dropped over dead holding the dagger. So, it all sounds totally bogus to me. Now, is there something else I can do for you, or can I get back to work now? That's a rune over a rune. there, isn't it? Bonnie would sure like that for her birthday. How much is it? Forget it, Elena. It's a very rare piece. It's from Scotland, and it's over 200 years old. Almost as old as Mr. Tanner. You would need a truckload of money to buy it, and even if you could afford it, I certainly wouldn't give it to Miss Psychic mm -hmm. Space Cadet. She would just lose it. Or worse yet, Use it in that stupid little fortune-telling act of hers. Now, if I could assist you in some other way, let me know. Otherwise, I really do need to get back to work. Sure. Sure. Mr. Smith gave you a ride home from the hospital, right? What do you know about him? What's the matter, Elena? 
jealous? No. Didn't you get anywhere with that hospital guy? Well, I guess it can't hurt to tell you what I know about Damon. Let's see. He's 20. He's studying to be a teacher at William and Mary. But his folks want him to go to Yale or something. He likes to fly and he can drive with his knees. All other information is confidential. Now, is there something else you wanted or can I get back to work? <sighs> Um, that's, well, that's about it, I guess. Where's this room that I'm supposed to be looking at? How do I click? Fine, I'm out of here. Later, Elena. <laughs> much. Bye 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 So she's pretty much just mean and awful because... She wants the popularity that, that I, as Alina, have in high school. Tell you something, honey. It doesn't really matter once you graduate from high school about your popularity. Sure, you can have a good time in high school with it, but it doesn't quite translate to the real world. I still don't know what this fancy key is all about that I took from the display case here. That room, that's it. Can I just like take it? <laughs> Use that key. Uh -huh. I guess not. I need that room. How did they acquire it if it belongs to Bonnie? All right. Well, we have some other environments that we have not explored yet, so let's do that. Um... Let's see... There's the boarding house we have yet to go to. And we have the church. Let's go to the church, because we read about Adelaide, Adelaide in the gold coin. Bell's Church Cemetery. I don't know. CD1. Here we go. like a real cemetery. Where to go? Where do we find Adelaide? Okay, we could go that way. Well, that looks promising. Let's go here. Okay, you can look there. Sure, why not? Let's look there. In beloved memory of Adelaide Chambers. I can't use my key. What do we need? I can't use my key. Okay, fun fact, you guys, I actually happen to have a walkthrough printout that I'm supposed to that I can follow if I want to. I'm not sure what it is that I need though. Well, okay, I do. But according to my logic, I'm not sure what we need. Uh, I know that she was buried with the gold coin. How do we get out of here? But I don't know why I need that coin. Ooh, the church. Is this the church? It looks all boarded up. Hey, is Mrs. Flowers in here? Oh, this place is not very well maintained. That's too bad. 
the windows look kind of broken. Candle. I have a feeling I'll need to be in here again later. All the pews are either toppled over or out of place. to get out of the cemetery. This is getting kind of creepy. Everything's green and gray. Oh! Who's that? I thought I might find you out here today. Did you come to see me, child? Or to talk with oh, that's Mrs. Flowers. She looks so much nicer in this uh, daylight and attire. How do I click? I want to click. My cursor. There we go. How did you know I would be here today? Mm, just a feeling old ladies sometimes get. Most people call it coincidence. Some call it mm. intuition. I just call it paying attention. Should I leave you alone to talk to your parents? That's right. My parents are buried here in the grave. Or in the cemetery. I came to talk to you, Mrs. Flowers. I did? Must be pretty important if you came all the way out here to find me. What can I do for you, child? The dagger. Have you seen the newspaper article on Mr. Richard's collection? Now he's got some weird dagger. Pretty creepy, huh? That boy and his collection. The dagger must be what Gary was so fired up mm. about at the party. I just hope he's careful with that thing. Is there anything else I can help you with today? You seem to know a lot of strange stuff, Mrs. Flowers. Do you know anything about druids, by any chance? I'm an old lady who reads a lot. I collect facts the way Gary Richards collects <laughs> artifacts. And I do indeed know a thing or two about druids. They were priests who lived all over the British Isles, and France, too. They knew a lot about animals and astrology, and herbs and healing, too, which is what interests me. Is there anything else I can help you with? Have you ever heard of runes, Mrs. Flowers? Bonnie swears they're for real, but I'm not so sure I should believe her. Oh, yes. Runes are very real, Elena. And I'm not surprised that Bonnie knows about them. You see, Bonnie's grandmother read her runes for me. I wonder if they're still in the family. I've never seen another set since then. Hmm. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Yes. Mrs. Flowers? How can someone my age get a loan? There's something at the gallery I have to have. Have to, is it? I'd gladly lend you something, Elena, but I'm afraid anything at the gallery would be beyond my means. This sounds like something to talk about with your aunt. What else I can I do? I need to talk to my aunt about getting money for the room. I'm looking for silver and lapis for a project I'm doing. Do you know where I could find some? I'm afraid silver and lapis are too fancy for me. I don't have any, and I don't even know where to tell you to look. I'm sorry. Is there anything else I can help you with? Hmm. I should go now, Mrs. Flowers. I'll see you later, okay? All right. Goodbye, Elena. All right, Mrs. Flowers, thank you so much. You're much nicer to talk to in the graveyard, which is odd. Okay, you guys, I need to save the game right here and take a break. 
Uh, please check out the next video as we continue our snooping around, trying to find Lapis in Silver and get enough money to get that rune to give back to Bonnie. That is our goal for the next video. So let's uh, save. Let's save here. All right. Alright guys, stay tuned, I will see you next time in the next video.